Right, so hello and welcome back to another video on Arthur TV. Today we're looking at part 8 of Big Ed's journey on 90 Day The Single Life. So last time out we looked at Big Ed's manipulative attempts to win Liz back. After leaving Ed all by himself in Las Vegas following a confrontational dinner with his daughter Tiffany, Liz met up with Big Ed four days later back at his home to talk things through. After apologising for Tiffany's behaviour and for pushing Liz to talk about things when she wasn't ready to, Big Ed then told her that she has communication issues and said that her leaving him behind in Vegas caused him to suffer from a panic attack, which caused Liz to break down into tears. But despite their troubles, Liz said that she still had feelings for Ed and wanted to continue to work on their relationship. Since then, however, their relationship has continued down its rocky path. Over the past few weeks, Liz has become increasingly distant from Ed, spending a lot more time with her daughter Riley and socialising with her friends and spending a lot less time with Big Ed. And as a result, he's once again worrying that he's starting to lose her. Liz and I have been together for about two months. And at this point in my life, I have never loved anyone the way I love Liz, ever. But recently, I feel like Liz is starting to pull back and I don't know why. Only Big Ed could look at everything he's put this girl through over the last two months and still be scratching his head over why she might possibly be losing interest. Like when you're a generous 0.3 out of 10 and your personality is still your worst trait, it shouldn't really be a surprise that someone wants to spend less time with you the more they get to know you. But Big Ed's not really one to stop and give thought to anything for more than a few seconds. So instead, he's taking Liz out for dinner to interrogate her on what's going on. Your chariot, madame. Thank you. I'm being completely honest, I'm definitely struggling because I hate to say it, there is that age difference, even though I want to feel like it's non-existent. And I just want, I want to be happy. I wish they'd ask her what exactly it was about their age gap that's making her struggle with things. Like, I wonder whether it's something between them, like her being worried that he's going to be in his 70s when she's in her 40s, or whether it's something external, like other people judging their relationship. But either way, it's definitely not because he's more mature than her. When we're together, it's awesome. It's pretty awesome, right? Are we gonna have a fight? No. Okay. I hope not. He is actually like a little kid who's worried that he's going to get in trouble with his mum. The whole thing just absolutely screams immaturity. It really shows his lack of relationship skills that he just assumes that as soon as there's a problem, they're going to get in a fight rather than talk things through. It's also kind of sad that he senses something's wrong with Liz, but rather than asking if she's okay or if there's something on her mind, he just wants to know if he's going to be alright. Although, I don't really think it would matter if he did ask. He could know exactly what was wrong and would probably still rub salt into the wounds literally half an how later. So, I've had kind of an epiphany. You were born the same week my divorce was finalized. So for me, I'm like, you're here for a reason. This might actually be the weirdest, creepiest thing that Big Ed has ever said. And for him, that is saying something. The idea that he got divorced and the universe sent him a newborn baby to be his future girlfriend is the nonciest thing I've heard in a very long time. And I've literally just finished watching the Epstein documentary on Netflix. He even said it like it was some deep metaphysical sentiment that she would find romantic and thoughtful. She's literally just said that she's been struggling with the age gap and he comes out with this. It's not even rubbing salt into the wounds, it's squirting acid into it and lighting it on fire. I have feelings for you, like, and they're very strong. But I have what I call separation anxiety. And so when I'm not around you, I... Um, freak out? I freak out. 
He actually is like a little rescue puppy that can't be left alone and needs constant attention. But given he hasn't got cute little puppy eyes, he has to manipulate her into getting what he wants instead. Like he's not just saying that he wants to spend more time with her or giving her positive reasons why she should. He's literally guilt tripping her into it by saying that her not spending time with him is hurting him. He's basically just taking advantage of the fact that she's an empathetic person. I've always felt that when it comes to Riley, you're a priority one. No question. Work, priority two. Priority three, it's your friends. And then it's me. I've just always felt like I'm like at the end. Then I don't want to miss you. I want to feel secure. And I want a commitment from you that I'm what you want. He actually really is super insecure, isn't he? He asked her for pretty much this exact same thing in the last video, and she said that she can't promise that she's gonna wanna be with him forever, but she's already told him that he is what she wants. What more does he want? Like, what kind of commitment is he actually looking for? Does he wanna take a deposit? Does he want her to sign a written contract? Even a marriage isn't necessarily forever, and he knows that from personal experience. Well, I'm sorry I made you feel that way, because I do miss you. I feel lost when I don't speak to you. We need to find a way to fix it, to get back onto that page. See, I need that. I need to hear that. I didn't know that. You're definitely a priority. You're a lot to handle, but I do love you. You know, Liz's responses are never what I expect them to be. Every time he pushes her like this, I'm always like, all right, this is too far now. Like, surely this is going to be too much for her. But then she always just turns around and is like, all right, I'll give you more. She could so easily attack him for not listening to her about wanting to go slow or get really defensive and be like, I'm already giving you more than I feel comfortable giving. Or even just see that her prioritizing Riley and having a social life outside of him is completely normal and healthy. But she's so calm and mature every single time. On the one hand, I have a lot of respect for her for it. But on the other hand, it's kind of annoying to see Big Ed getting away with pushing her like this so many times. You know, I still have things in my head I need answers to. I want to know if she sees a future with me forever. Because, because I love her. Because I love her. Great, so after all of that, he's still not satisfied. Even if she did say that she wants him forever, it wouldn't really mean anything, would it? She could say that and then one month later completely change her mind. It's just one of those things that you have to live with in a relationship, isn't it? I know he's got abandonment issues from Rose leaving him, his wife leaving him, and even his neck leaving him at some point in his mid-twenties, but he needs to just learn to deal with the fact that he can't guarantee the future. Luckily for Big Ed, his constant need for affirmation hasn't quite got the better of Liz yet, and having that conversation has actually worked out quite well for him. After the dinner, the pair started spending a lot more time together, and over the past few weeks, Big Ed has started to feel like he's being treated like a priority again. She's making me feel important, making me feel like a real boyfriend, and it's getting better day by day. She's been spending the night four to five nights, and there's nothing more that I want in this world is to wake up every morning holding Liz. Oh my god, I can't believe he body slammed her like that. Ed spinning to land on Liz to cushion his fall rather than catching her is such a big Ed thing to do. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Other than the blatant disregard for Liz's physical well-being, things are going pretty well between the couple. So Big Ed being who he is, decides to dip his tiny little hands into his seemingly bottomless bag of spanners to throw another one into the works. I want my home to be our home and i want to ask you to move in that's another fast move <laughs> when are you gonna slow it down i just know how much you like me and you can't live without me oh my gosh i mean that's what i tell myself <laughs> 
Ed is actually constantly suffering from this really weird mix of delusional overconfidence and crippling insecurity. I think his overconfidence genuinely makes him think that she wants to live with him. But at the same time, it's his overpowering insecurity that makes him rush into tying her down as much as possible. I wonder if her living with him would finally be enough for him to slow it down and just enjoy what he's got going on for a little bit. I, I renewed my lease for six more months. So, and in six months, I want to get a bigger house for you, my mom, and your daughter. I want her to have a home, her own room. I want to give you what I can. You give me a headache. <laughs> This is actually quite sweet. This is the first selfless thing we've heard from Big Ed all season. I think some people were hinting that there are some slightly creepy vibes here, like he's trying to buy her love and play sugar daddy a little bit, but I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt here. I think this genuinely is him wanting to provide for Liz and her daughter, even if it does progress the relationship again. It's also nice that his lease isn't up for six months, so he's not rushing her into this one like he has with every other decision so far. So, Will you move in? I'm waiting. I'm thinking. <laughs> ah, well, so much for not rushing her. I mean, he's put pressure on her before to make quick decisions, but this is the first time he's done it by literally yelling in her face. Like, I know he'll feel anxious waiting for an answer, worrying that he's gonna get rejected, but this is a big question, and it's a big decision to make. Given they've only been seeing each other a couple of months, she probably hasn't even considered this before. This isn't like her sleeping with you to secure the bag, Ed. You're gonna have to give her more than 20 seconds here. You just love to just push and make, make changes. You try to make me make changes so fast, it's not fair. But yes. Well, that makes me happy. So can we go pack your stuff right now? <laughs> This is what I was saying before about her response at the dinner table. Yet again, he pressures her into a rush decision and she just calmly goes along with it. And whilst doing that, the way she calmly explains how he makes her feel and gives him very valid criticism without being too offensive or defensive actually makes her such a perfect person for someone as impatient and self-absorbed as Ed, even if he doesn't deserve it. For her, I'm, I'm moving too fast, but I don't feel like I'm moving too fast at all. I want to spend the rest of my life with Liz and I have the ring picked out. That's cool, bro. Please see a psychologist. This man seriously needs help. I mean, thank goodness he hasn't proposed yet, but I genuinely think it will come sooner rather than later. It's so weird because he says for her I'm moving too fast, so he's obviously aware of it, but he still just does it anyway. It's just such a blatant disregard for her boundaries. One of the saddest things about their relationship progressing is that it keeps reinforcing this idea that pushing for progression is okay because she'll keep saying yes. It's funny, literally three videos ago when Big Ed asked Liz to meet his daughter and she said no right after saying yes to being his girlfriend. I joked that she was three yeses away from getting a proposal, and now she said yes to meeting Tiffany and to moving in. It genuinely looks like that's gonna come true. That is crazy. I want her to move in. I want um, her and I to continue to work on our communication and commitment issues. And then when it feels right, then I'm a, I wanna make my move. I wanna propose. You wanna arm wrestle? Sometimes you should just not talk. <laughs> Of course, the two things he thinks they should work on are her communication issues and her commitment issues. She's right, but not just sometimes. He needs to give up talking altogether. But I guess if he did, we wouldn't have this absolute specimen stuffed and ready for a roasting every single week. So as long as Liz is happy, long may it continue. Well, that is unfortunately all we have time for today, but I get the feeling we'll be seeing Big Ed getting down on one knee very soon. So if you enjoyed today's video and you want to 
make sure you catch the next one. Leave a like on this video and make sure you're subscribed down below so you don't miss out. As always, the links to my Instagram, Twitter and other social media will be down below. So feel free to come drop me a follow to keep up with the channel, help me decide what future videos to make or just say hi in between uploads. I'd also just like to give a very quick shout out to my Patreon supporters for supporting me and the channel over on Patreon. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.